Look how big he's getting, guys. Look at little Daryl. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. This is my wife, Rachel. Hey, guys. I'm Kevin. Skeeter bugs running around somewhere. And I've got some cheese and some bologna, because if you guys caught the last video, you seen where we took our dog, our livestock guardian dog, Cora, to the vet. And uh, she had some kind of leg injury, some kind of boo-boo, whatever going on. And uh, we've been giving her the medication. We're several days into it now. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go out and take a look at her, see how she's doing, kind of give you guys an update. And uh, a few other things going on. We're gonna have a, several updates in this video. Let's walk out here and we'll show you guys some of the stuff. So. Rachel and I, a few days ago, were super busy in the barn over at the Pico Pen. Um, we decided to start cleaning out the uh, chicken coop and the goat barn, and uh, we had a whole dump truck load of uh, bedding and manure, stuff like that. We got it mixed in the compost pile. We'll show you guys here in a little bit. But my dad came over and he helped Rachel and I, and uh, we got a couple of scoops on the tractor bucket and brought it on over here to the garden. And this is just a little update video and we started filling up some of our raised beds just kind of show you guys here so this is all some of that bedding there's some hay in there there's chicken manure goat poo all that good stuff that duck garden, geese emu like everything a little bit of everything straw yeah uh some leftover shavings it's the good stuff good they stuff. call it black gold that's what we call it here and uh if you guys remember from last year when we cleaned out the goat barn the big goat barn we had a big compost pile over there so what we did is we didn't want to put this stuff straight into our garden because sometimes chicken manure can be very high in nitrogen so it's got to compost a little bit so we went ahead and took the dump truck load over there dumped it in the old pile then we mixed it all in then we brought some over here and uh, we're still not planning just yet we still got some frost danger so probably in another week or so we will start planting um, some of our plants but we have started planting seeds and we always get a lot of questions on our channel about what kind of seeds we use and what we what we uh, prefer and stuff and we found something very interesting and this is from survival garden seeds and I'm gonna throw up a clip right here if you guys are interested go check them out yeah it's very cool the seeds we plant in our garden are offered by Survival Garden Seeds. Their collections are full of non-GMO, heirloom, open pollinated seeds. The mix of fruits, vegetables, and herbs is just right for feeding a family a balanced diet. They come in a waterproof container for long-term storage. On the back of each packet are instructions for planting and also for seed saving for future gardens. You can find the link in the description below and use code Hidden Heights for 10% off. So yeah guys, uh, if you guys are interested in heirloom plants and uh, something that is for long term storage and something to where something happened next year and you can't go downtown to Walmart and buy seeds, you can save your seeds from uh, your previous garden. So that stuff's very important. So if you guys are interested in, in that, go check out the link in the description below. And we are under a severe wind visory today. Um, we're supposed to be getting some uh, severe storms tonight and all this crazy wind is blowing in some uh, nasty weather, I think. So I've got a piece of uh, Bar S stick cut bologna and a piece of uh, American cheese. We're gonna come out here and give Court her medicine, but let me show you guys. This is her walking right now. I'll let you guys be the judge if you think she's walking better or not. To me, she looks 10 times better. Oh, Cora girl, you know you're getting your treat. And there's Mr. Leesky, man. <laughs> you, want, you want to hold the camera? So I can give these big dogs their food and their core her medicine. So I don't think in the last video when we brought home the uh, medicine, I don't think I ever showed them. I might have showed them how big it is. But we got to cut it one of them in half. And if you guys are new to the channel, we are no strangers at giving dogs medicine by now. And if you guys have been watching us for a while, you know that. So. Here's the medicine, the pills. I gotta be careful because this wind's about to blow it away. And normally we use bar S hot dogs and uh, I'm completely out and I haven't made it to the store yet. So let's see if they'll even eat a piece of bologna. Pretty much the same thing. Holy ski. I gotta figure out how to hide this medicine. Did you drop it? Well, yes. He always does. I don't think he likes cold food. 
All right, I'm gonna have to get creative. I'm gonna wrap this in a piece of cheese because I just know we're gonna drop this medicine. And we only have exactly enough. She's gotta take it for 14 days and then we only have enough so we can't spare any of it. You guys like cheese? Huh? You like cheese? Here. He said, yeah, I like cheese. Let's get this cheese, sis. All right. You guys like bologna? He said, yeah, I guess I do. Just knocked it out of your hand. All right, here you go, Cora. Your turn. All right, she got her medicine. Mission complete for today. Uh, you have your little buddy here. I know. He's a, here's a little buddy. Here, Skeeter. All right, go play. All right, one more for each of you. Here you go, girl. Good girl. Good girl. So it is feeding time. Like I said, we're gonna be getting some storms here in a little bit, so we gotta get all that done. And uh, why's the end of your nose, buddy? Let me see your nose. Come here, see if you can zoom in on this. He's been scratching his nose or something. He's got a little bit of blood right there. What are you he doing? Stay still no, he just wants hugs and kisses. So guys, as you can see, like I said, it's still early. Um, from giving her medication, Rachel wants to come in here. We can get a closer look at Cora. Um, her limping has drastically changed for the better. It's improved. It's improved. I don't know the proper term. Oh, there's little Daryl. He come to say hi. <laughs> look at him. Daryl, what are you doing? Come here. I need a hug from my buddy. Oh, look at this boy. Look how big he's getting, guys. Look at little Daryl. Oh, he's such a good boy. I finally looked up. Uh, everybody said Daryl and his other brother Daryl. I looked it up. It what was a show it? back in the 80s. It was. And it was a, a funny comedy. So we may have to name oh, his he's brother. He's at least he's getting in my face. Big Daryl. This is little Daryl and the other one's Big Daryl. This is Big Daryl right here. No. That's Leesky. That's Leesky. Hey, look at his little horns. Aren't they getting big? Yeah. He's getting big. For a little orphan that the mom didn't want, and then we started bottle feeding him, getting him a little head start in life, and then his mom started accepting him. He's doing really well. He was rejected, then accepted. Look. How about that? Aw. Skeeter says, we're keeping him, Dad. He's my play <laughs> Skeeter, he's going to outgrow you so fast. So here's my girl right here, the one that's been getting doctored and spoiled. Right, Cora? Watch out, Lee Skeeter. Come here. Come here, Cora. Come here, girl. You want a hug? Come here, I'll give you a hug. Come here. She said, no hugs for me, Dad. She said, I just want my food. I keep going over there. But here's another update for you guys. Look in here. Let me see that camera. I'll try to catch him. You guys seen us put the creep feeder out? Look who's in there. I don't know if you can see or not. So you can see how the goats get in here to eat. The little goats and the big goats can't get in there. So this is the creep feeder's purpose. But as you guys seen when we pulled this thing out of the barn, that feed trough was full of the poo. That is how because that little goat was standing in there. So, oh, see so now she's getting loving. I'm gonna be quiet. Why? So we don't come over here. Oh, it don't matter. He's gonna come over there anyways. He sees you. He said, oh, someone else is getting attention. I better come break it up. You big baby. So, um, I started picking up the pasture and quickly... I can see that in the back of the truck. I quickly realized I wasn't going to work by myself because I needed a gate opener. <laughs> Somebody to help me open and close the gates to take all the loads of uh, junk from the junkyard dogs out of the... You got to start on it. I got to start. I got a little bit over there. But uh, I was going to mention that, like, we've been working doing all this spring cleaning projects. A lot of those we're not going to film just because sometimes we just have to get stuff done. And we only have, like, a short window of time to do that. And so a lot of that stuff I will be putting over on Facebook mainly and Instagram pictures and short little reels and such. If you guys want to go check some of that stuff out um, that doesn't always make it here on uh -oh. YouTube. Hey, we got a problem. Oh no. Please keep. Oh, please keep. No. No. Why did the chicken follow us in here? It got underneath the gate. Nancy? 
You're about to be dinner. This is not what we want on video. I don't think you're going to be able to catch her. Nancy, if you knew what was good for you, you better get out. Whiskey, no. Alright, I'm going to have to put the camera down and help Rachel. I think Let's see if she's smart enough to get not, back out. She ain't smart enough. Hold on, hey! I was gonna try to open. Right there, Nancy. Oh, gosh. Here, watch Leasty and I'll get the chicken. Get out of here, Nancy. You better go for it. You get. Really? Okay. Close the gate. Close the gate. Okay. This, was, this wasn't supposed to be in today's video, but. Four. No. Okay. No, four. Come here, chicken. I didn't have this camera in my hand, I could reach down and grab her. Always something exciting. There you go. Get your butt under Oh there. my gosh. Don't touch her. Get under there. Okay. Thank God. Alright, let's go feed. Everybody's hungry. Skeeter's getting on to her. He says, I'm the sheriff. He's, I'm going to write you a ticket if you do that again. You don't belong in there. Okay, I'm super proud of the dogs because they listen. Yeah. Good job, dogs. Because they are not bird friendly. No. That they uh, they they see the birds as a threat to the goat, so they don't let any birds in there. Introduce your your baby goat that we named Bucket. No, I can't hear. I can't even see out here. I think it's that one. That wasn't on a YouTube video, so. I don't know, we'll have to figure that out later. Yeah, it was. So we're gonna feed real quick since Nancy is protesting and she decided to go under the gate to follow us because she thought we had food. Which we were just trying to give Cora her medicine. So that was a very close call. That's how country dogs get drinks when they're thirsty outside doing work. Security. Skeeter, is that good? Fresh <laughs> rainwater. All right, let us grab some food. And if it don't blow us away, this wind is absolutely crazy. Look at Boris's uh, feathers. Boris, come here. No. <laughs> He's about to blow away. Look at our trash cans. Golly, we gotta go pick that up. Oh my gosh. Look at all them little heads. <laughs> Here, I'll give you all some so you quit. Following me to the uh, dog pen. So a lot of people's been asking, where is Mojo? I guess people hasn't seen him in the videos lately. And sometimes when I come out in video, I don't even realize that I'm missing some of the Hidden Heights characters in the video. So bear with me. So Rachel's got the dog food. I've got the goat food. This King Core is patiently waiting. You got the dogs? Yep. All right, I'm gonna set up and feed these goats real quick. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, you guys are gonna have to come with me. I can't uh, hold this door open, the wind is crazy. Usually I just set the tripod up, but I can't. See there. <laughs> you gotta watch out for Skeeter, he'll try to steal those eggs. Uh oh, here they come again. All right, got a hungry mouth. Hey, don't run out there, don't run out there. Okay, I didn't want to sign that door, but I knew the wind was going to. All right, here we go. This is kind of hard. Oh, okay, so look at all these babies. You can come out here real quick. Daryl's brother, and he is so far, he is by far the biggest kid in 2023 out of all, all of these kids so far. He is massive. What are y'all doing? Who did it? Huh? Who's the troublemaker out there? You are. Your, your house is right in the way, and you want to scoot it over. So their hay is gone. And I keep telling you guys we're gonna let them out so they can have access to that. So 
stay tuned for the next video. That's all we're gonna do. They will be let out, but I've been uh, delaying that for a reason. Um, I didn't want to let them all out and then uh, let Cora out as well. Since she had the injury to her leg, I needed to be able to watch her, Rachel and I, um, be able to watch her closely. And it's not getting any worse right now. The medicine's helping and it's actually getting better. Hopefully it's not just taking the pain away for a more serious problem. Um, so this is gonna be something we're gonna have to watch long term for the whole, you know, even after the two weeks of the medication. But that's pretty much the update on Cora. She's been taking her medicine every day like a good girl. She's made a huge improvement. She has. Risky's taking care of her. In uh, and more ways than one. <laughs> nice. Oh, look at this little goat. She is a flashy little girl, isn't she? She got some pretty colors. <sighs> oh, here comes the quack pack now. All right, we better go feed everybody. Everybody is uh. They are getting thirsty. dangerously close. Everybody's thirsty. Everybody's hungry. Everybody, thirsty. the goats have been drinking a lot more water here recently. And one reason is it's warmer, but the main reason is because they're lactating. All right, about, everybody's hungry. Let's she about had eat. chicken dinner. <laughs> so uh, while I come out here, I'm going to show you guys the compost pile. I'm not going to walk out to it. I'm just going to show you guys from here. We haven't cleaned out this barn yet, but here is the compost pile that we got going from feeding out the chicken barn and the goat barn over there. Well, that is some good stuff. You throw that up and it's just black as can be. Very uh, rich in nutrients. Should be some great gardening compost. And you can see there, I already got a bucket load of it with the tractor and mixed it in all of our garden beds. And then I uh, took our little manis tiller and I tilled it all in, mixed it all in. So hopefully it will give our uh, garden plants some beneficial nutrients. I'm trying to get out of here so we can go feed. Go feed Mojo and all the other goats. And yes, these goats can still get in here. They crawl underneath that feed bunk right there. The littler goats get back here and they eat all the stuff that falls. Watch this door, it'll slam on you. It's crazy. Oh, there's Mojo. Laura always barks at Mojo. Mojo said, what's all the fuss about back here? I'm hungry too. Well, you know, Big Mo, there's every, everybody's been asking about Big Mo. How you been doing, bud? He said, I'm going to do a lot better if you give me some eggs. There he is. There Big he is. Mo, you ready to go eat? Quit, Skeeter. Quit being broke. You ready to go eat? Come on. That's another real farm life right there. Come on, Mo. Let's go feed her a pickle. Mom's getting your food. All right, come on. Come on, Quack Pack. Come on, Quack Pack. Come on, Mo, lead the way, buddy. Oh, I'm gonna pick up these trash cans. It is, uh, when it, so today is actually the warmest day we've had so far. It's 83 degrees. We woke up this morning, it was already warm. That's usually a very bad sign that the uh, bad storms are coming. And usually, tornadic storm somewhere in Oklahoma when it's this warm uh, this early in the year but that's what we got a cellar been there done that so we got we've had some close calls so just got to always be prepared so uh, bear with me while I pick up all this trash in my trash cans it's also probably the windiest day we've had so far Man, that wild plum tree sure does smell good. So uh, one of our Bra er, Bartlett pears is uh, bloomed out over there by the beehive. And I talk about this every year in a video. It, and uh, you know, it don't last a long time, but when this wild plum blooms out, this is one of the best smelling fragrances in the wild you will ever smell. I am uh, not exaggerating. And it's also a beautiful tree when it's all bloomed out. And this is an old tree. It's seen better days, but it was here when we moved here. And I really haven't done much with it, but uh, 
it does produce a lot of uh, wild plums and the, the uh, pollinators absolutely love it and it also smells wonderful so bike pack's leading the way like always I don't know where Mojo went oh he's following his mom you get three eggs again? Well, yeah, I give all the dogs three eggs. Here, pet, pet. Got a small tornado. Uh oh, playpen. Here, hold this for me. Yeah, that's gonna you're gonna have to hold it. Okay, hold this and that, and I'll get in there. Skeeter, he's eating up food. But anyway, you won't get you. <laughs> that is not your fault. Did he really just growl at the emu? <laughs> yeah. I used to be nipped at him. This wind is nuts. Get the emu some extra feet up here. Goat's always figured out. Mojo, get three eggs. Here you go. Yes. This is a special mix I've been doing. Yeah, I know. So he's got his eggs. I'm going to show you guys the barn, how much better the barn looks. So you guys might see some of these trails out here in the field. That is from uh, us scraping out the barn. Um, everything that we could load in the gorilla cart we loaded in the gorilla cart and then dumped it in the tractor bucket then dumped it in the dump truck and uh, went and hauled it on the compost pile gonna get this little play thing this, the winds is crazy Here, let, let the real muscle get it yeah the real muscle get it okay go ahead and um part of the stuff that we uh could scrape out with the tractor I scraped it out and I just made big long lines with it, just scraped it out, kind of spreading it like they do um, manure or fertilizer on pastures and stuff. And what that'll do is uh, it's got a lot of chicken poo in it, which is high in nitrogen, and that will really fertilize that grass that grows out here in this pasture and uh, give them a lot more food. So you can see here, this is all cleaned out. And if you guys remember, we were coming in here to try to get the goose eggs. We couldn't even open the door because all the bedding and everything uh, was in the way. And yes, we purposely leave this open just so the goats and the geese can get in here and not all the big stuff. So I'm uh, kind of leery looking for snakes because it is black snake season. And we put, we cleaned, we cleaned all the chicken nest out and put all fresh bedding in there so they can lay their eggs and it's nice and soft. So you can see we got eggs in almost every one of those different things. But all the floor, we scraped it out, cleaned it all out. Yeah, they've been laying like crazy every day. We uh, cleaned all this out. A lot of shoveling. This is, a, this is the roost right here that some of them lay on or rest on. So there's always a big pile of poo right there. So we had to get shovels, rakes, all kinds of tools to get in here and actually clean this out. And this was like two feet high of bedding and stuff that just piled up and piled up with shavings and straw. And if you guys remember, Millie and the geese that made nests in that corner and then this corner over here. 
it was very back breaking work. It's probably it's necessary, but it is the one farm chore I do dread every year, but I feel so relieved when we're done. And the positive thing is we get the compost for the gardens. So it's rewarding. Yeah, it's, it's rewarding it's, work. It's rewarding. It's it is work. absolutely the best thing you can do for and your I garden. I it. It's all, all natural, organic. But and, we get uh, free black gold. Yeah, it is. And like I said, we mix that with the stuff from last year. And every time it rains, um, I'll wait a week or two and I'll go out with the tractor bucket, scoop it up, mix it up, kind of just get it all mixed in good. And it helps that... Uh, <clears throat> composition process take off to where it starts breaking everything down all that bacteria and uh, just turns it into black gold so anyways as you guys can see everything is starting to finally green up around here they are on their last hay bale they still have some left this off. we won't be feeding no more hay this year as you can look around tons and tons of uh, green grass it just it's just now starting to really take off and I'm about to blow away so but anyways that's the update on the video and I promise unless something crazy happens the next video will be us releasing the goats and the dogs into the big pasture so make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for that um, the baby kids the little kids are about a month old now they're not gonna know what to do and they get all that big free range over there they're gonna be running and jumping and playing on all those big dirt piles and there's a there's about 12 and a half acres over there that they have not explored yet so it'll be entertaining we'll we'll try to video most of that in the next video so um thank you guys for watching we love you guys make sure you're subscribed follow us on facebook like rachel said and if you guys are interested in those seeds make sure you check out the link down in the description um it's a an awesome way to have some seeds set back in case of emergency even if it's for next year or maybe a few years down the road so go yep. check them out so anyways guys we love you thank you so much and we'll see you next time thanks guys